Emal. It's nothing, I just... I just felt a bit dizzy, that's all. Well, it looked like more than that. But let me get you some barfy. Barfy kills everything. No, I don't... I don't like Indian sweets. As if. I've seen you eat them before. Maybe we should get you a doctor. I said it's fine. There's no need. What about you fainting? But is there something going on? <sighs> Just have one. No, Imran, do you hear about Perry and Juliet? Never mind about that. I just found Imran passed out and he won't let me take him to a doctor. I told her it's no big deal that I was dizzy. What are you saying about Perry and Jules? They broke up. It's all over social media. What? I thought they were in game. Well, look, that doesn't matter. You just fainted out of nowhere. It wasn't out of nowhere. What? I was working out. The gym's been helping me calm down ever since all that stuff came out about what Ali did to my mum. I guess I'm just trying to figure out my limits and I push too hard. You happy now? I mean, mate, it's good if it works for you, but you should really talk to someone instead of bottling all this up, you know? My family does not need me being a downer. I mean, we're all so happy for mum and Zane. We're buzzing for yours and Shaq's wedding. And I mean, you got so much on too, bro. Well, you just lost Soul and now Perry and Juliet are over. That's none of our business. I mean, it is. Can't really let Juliet and Perry throw their life away like this. Well, maybe you should stop trying to fix things you know nothing about. Well, Juliet and Perry are meant to be together and I'm gonna make them see that before it's too late, so... See you later, mate. Bye. Where's Perry? She went out so I could get my stuff. Sid, it's, it's too late. No, it's not. Just tell her that you made a mistake. I can't! Sid, Nadira's the person that I want to be with. When I'm with her, I just... I feel things. Exactly. And I know you, Jules. You pick the roller coaster over the teacups because it's more exciting even if it does make you feel sick. Yeah, well, the teacups make you feel sick too. Oh, you know what I mean. Your whole life you push people away because you're too scared to be happy. Will you stop trying to psychoanalyse me? Who do you think you are, Freud? No, I'm your best mate. And, and, and I see what you're doing. You're mixing up this stupid, crazy crush for some real, proper, grown-up love. And what do you know about love? I know the closeted girl you've met for four and a half minutes isn't it. Yeah, well, she's not going to stay closeted, because now that I've broken up with Perry, she feels secure enough to break up with Shaq, and then she can be with me. Oh, give me that, Jules. I've just seen her round his house. All right, OK, she does break up with him and wants to be with you. What are you going to do then? You're going to run off into the sunset together? Obviously not, no. We'll stay at James's place for a while, and then maybe one day we'll get our own. Yeah, but then what? You can get scared again and move on to the next big, scary adventure. Honestly, Jules, you're my best mate. Just don't want to see you get hurt. Well, I won't. And I've already made up my mind, so do me a favour, stay out of it. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Did you break up with Perry for me? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to show you that I was serious about us and now there's nothing holding us back. <laughs> I'm still engaged to Shaq, remember? Yeah, but you don't have to be. <laughs> All you have to do now is... tell him. Uh, just tell him. <laughs> Wait, what exactly do I tell him? Where would I even start? Well, you can start by telling him that you like girls, that you don't love him and you want to be with me. I... This is all so sudden. I, I can't just... I want to, but I'm scared. I know you are, but there's nothing to be scared of. Not anymore. And you can come out and you can live here and it'll just be the two of us against the whole world. Just tell him. <laughs> That's it. Then we're free. Just tell him. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Shaq, I, I need to tell you something. Give 
keep me happy with this. Whoa. <laughs> I told myself I'd play it cool, but I got the most amazing gift for you in Bradford. <laughs> I had a few hours between lectures. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Not you. The blushing bride. My bridal trousseau. Now, I know you'll want to add your own personal touches to it, but oh, I just couldn't resist picking up a few things for you. These are beautiful. I don't deserve them. Nonsense. While I was away, I didn't worry about my boys for a moment, because I had you looking out for them. the aunties in the community, but forever bragging about their son's wonderful wives. I always thought they were talking a load of rubbish, but I can see what they mean. After so much darkness, you've truly brought the light back into our family. There's no one else I would rather call my daughter-in-law. I need a cuppa. <laughs> So, Miss Perfect Daughter-in-Law, what is it you wanted to tell me? Finally. So, how'd it go? Nice suitcase. Miss Bob bought me a new one too. Okay, that's a bit awkward. It's for my bridal trousseau. It's got stuff inside that the bride can take into a marriage. Like clothes, jewelry, that kind of thing. It's a big deal. Tradition, you know? Every Muslim bride gets one. And we join this massive line of women who don't before us. Carrying on our culture, bringing families together. What are you saying? I'm saying, I can't do this. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. I, I don't understand. We said that we would finally be together. You said that, not me. I mean, you leaving Perry like that, throwing the ball into my court, forcing me to make a move. Don't you get the pressure that put on me? How selfish it was. Fine, okay, I was being selfish. But I was hoping that you'd be selfish too for the sake of our future. We don't have a future, Julia. <laughs> I don't even know your middle name. Your favorite color or, or what makes you afraid as a kid. I know those things about Shaq. But not loving him doesn't matter. Marriage is about more than just love. It's about building a life with someone who makes you feel safe. It's not just a stab in the dark, running on hormones and hope. <laughs> okay, okay, so what are you gonna do? Just run home to Shaq and be a good little wife? I want to be a good wife. I have to start taking this thing seriously, so I I can't see you anymore. No. no you're, not, you're not serious. I'm sorry, Julia. We're not real life. Never were. This is over. Sid? Look, I'm sorry I gave you such a tough time about having a saviour complex. I've got a big mouth complex, right? Sorry, I thought you were Sid. Look, I heard about you and Juliet calling things off. I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't need people pitying me for being dumped. I just feel like such an idiot. Hey, you shouldn't feel like an idiot. Trust me, you can do better than Juliet. What if I can't? I was always given a reason to end things with me. Being fussy, starting arguments, being a stupid spoiled princess over stuff. No wonder she kissed someone else that time. Perry, it wasn't just a kiss. What? Lizzie, what do you mean it wasn't just a kiss? Juliet's been cheating on you. 